The Washington Congressional Conference is one of the most important meetings for our profession because we are a legislative profession. Each year we gather to talk about the issues, talk about the things that are important to our profession and go to the Hill, which is very fun when you go up there because everywhere you go in every building there's nothing but optometry and optometry students and, and you see all these people that you know so there's this whole buzz about we really are on the Hill. My name is Arthur Kim. I'm a third year optometry student at SUNY Optometry. As part of our profession, it is our responsibility to advocate for our profession. That's why I'm here in Washington, D.C. for this weekend. Now, I think the message has started to spread. The students are starting to understand that they are their own future. They can't count on the current docs like myself who are old timers to, to develop and define their future. The students have to do that themselves. By their activity and their levels right now, this is amazing because they're taking charge and control of their own future. I'm happy. Yeah, this would be my third time being here. Um, we love to come to these things. It's come to the point where I think it's a mistake not to. And you've heard this a thousand times, I think. It's a legislative profession. And uh, I really learned what that meant when I went overseas and found out what optometry is in other countries. And, uh, you know, what we do is, is, is made the profession what it is. And with, without people coming out here and legislating and lobbying, type, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't do what we do. It's critical that uh, legislators see uh, everyday optometrists here being part of the process. Not just paid lobbyists, but people that have stories that they can bring from back home, uh, talking to legislators and their staff about how uh, optometry can impact the lives of, of millions of patients across the country. Again, coming to these conferences and everything, um, one thing I definitely took for granted was just our scope of practice and just knowing that everything we do isn't actually entitled and it hasn't always been like this the best out of optometry school and make and start going to these meetings because this is where you'll you'll learn more about your profession what you're getting into it's not all about the bucks you want to become politically active now and you want to be involved in your community because this is a commitment so and I, I feel like this is the most rewarding part to be honest being involved oh yeah I think Washington really opens your eyes to just how important this stuff is to keep fighting for because it's your profession and I think that the people who get involved in their state and national association, involved with AOA, are really the most successful practitioners out there. They have their finger on the pulse, they know exactly what's going on legislatively, they can see what's coming down the pike, they can look into the future and really adjust their practices. And you get to interact with some of the most wonderful people. Students need to understand that we are a legislative profession, both on a federal level and on a state level. And in order for them to be able to have secure futures, they've got to be able to affect what goes on in the state legislatures and the federal government. I had a great time visiting the students while they're here. Uh, it's been just exciting. It's their future more than my future. And, and they are understanding that we are a legislative profession and, and what they do is going to impact their lives more than it's going to impact my life. When anyway members convene in Washington, it symbolizes the power of unity. Because together we can we can move mountains as a profession. Over the years when I've been on the Hill with students, I've learned never underestimate the power of the student's voice. To be able to come to these meetings and see other colleagues, I think it's I mean I think it's cool. Uh, a lot of students feel like you know maybe it's just enough to get good grades and, and you know be a good doctor and you know and I think that's great and I want to do that for myself too but at the same time I feel like you have to kind of look outside of the box for a little bit and see what else is going on. Optometrystudents.com is an amazing achievement for its founder, for its editors, for everyone engaged. It is a example of the future of optometry and I'm excited about it.